Guys, you both are late. We are really sorry but some people were busy planting trees and plants, and they were blocking the way on road. It seemed as if they were gathered for some special reason. Yeah, I totally forgot. Today, the Van Mahotsav has started. Van Mahotsav, can you tell us more about this thing? Yeah, sure. Van Mahotsav is an annual one-week tree planting festival in India which is celebrated in the first week of July. It was started in the year 1950 by Kanhaiya Lal Manik Lal Munshi by planting a tree at Rajghat, Delhi. It was initiated to celebrate the importance of growing and saving forests and to create awareness about the bad effects of deforestation, which is a great initiative. Yes, I also know about it. Its main objective was to increase production of fruits, which could be added to the potential food resources of the country, help create shelter belts around agricultural fields to increase their productivity. It has gained significant importance every year. Millions of saplings are planted across India in observation of Van Mahatsav. By planting trees, we can save our future generation. What? Can we save our future generation, by just planting some trees? Yes, that's possible. Instead of money, the prior plan about the future generation should be planting trees. Replanting is more important than ever before. Trees take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and clean the air we breathe. Planting trees is a simple, inexpensive, and easy way to improve the community and add value to a property. Every tree that is planted is an important and meaningful gift to future generations. And to save trees, some people also did a movement that has a special significance and importance. It was the Chip Kill Movement. Chipko movement. I have heard this name earlier, but I don't know much about it. Can you please elaborate it to me? The Chipko movement was non-violent agitation in 1973 that was aimed at protection and conservation of trees. The name of the Chipko movement originated from the word embrace as the villagers used to hug the trees and protect them from woodcutters from cutting them. That's what hundreds of nature lovers did in order to save the trees from being illegally chopped down. Wow! What a wonderful way to save trees! But who was the leader of this movement with such a nice idea? Chandi Prasad Bhatt, founder of the cooperative organization the Sholi Gram Swarajya Sangh, led the first Chipko movement near the village of Mandal in 1973. First Chipko movement? Has this movement occurred more than once? Yeah. After the first movement, many people got influenced by the idea. I love that idea too. But I am now also feeling sorry, that I thought that those people were being rude by blocking the way on road. Because now I know, that they were trying to draw our attention towards them, so that we can be aware of the danger of decreasing trees and plants on the earth. Oh. Instead of being sorry, you can go and plant some trees and plants, to help the earth. Yes. I will do that for sure. Me too. I will also do that. 